Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to the Meat Church Lake Compound. Today, I'm gonna show you a classic that I grew up on. My granny always made me bologna sandwiches, but if you know Meat Church, you know we're gonna add a smoke element to it. Today, I'm taking this amazing $6 chub of bologna and I'm gonna show you how to smoke it. One second, guys, I gotta fuel up. Let's start with the Bloody Mary. Okay, this is gonna be real straightforward. We're gonna score it, slather it, season it, smoke it, slice it, sear it, and sandwich it. Keep it simple, stupid. What's the deal with all the S's? Anyway, I'm starting with a Bar S bologna chub, five pounds that was six bucks at Walmart. I didn't grow up on 10, $20 a pound bologna, so I'm using the cheap stuff and it works great for this recipe. So I'm gonna cut it out of here. And then we're gonna slather it with yellow mustard and we're gonna season it with the gospel seasoning, which is our all purpose. We have a lot of seasoning options that you guys can use. You know, you could use our Holy Voodoo, uh, you could use our Honey Hog, you could use our D's Nuts Honey Pecan, you could use our honey bacon. You could use your favorite barbecue seasoning, you know, just whatever you guys prefer for your flavor profile. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score this chub. I'm gonna take a sharp knife and make just a slight incision, you know, no more than a quarter inch deep, kind of open this up. Uh, it gives us more surface area for the seasoning to apply to, and plus it's gonna look killer when we pull it off. I'm gonna go about one inch apart and just make, I'm just making a slight incision. Now I'm gonna go the complete opposite direction all the way around the chub four or five times. Okay, we're good, this is scored. Uh, like I said, it's gonna help the seasoning adhere to a little more surface area and it's gonna look super cool when you're done cooking it. Now it's time to apply the seasoning, but first we're gonna start with a slather. I'm gonna go with just a classic yellow mustard slather. This won't affect the flavor profile, but I really like a slather on a bologna chub because it'll help that seasoning adhere much more, um, you know, evenly and, and a lot more of it. If I just tried to put the seasoning on here, a lot of it would come off. So we wanna add some moisture. And we're just gonna slather it on, and I'm telling you, you won't taste this, so don't be scared of it. Work it in there. Now you can really see those score marks. Plus, it's fun to play with your chub. Okay, that's it and we can season immediately. I would season this very thoroughly. This is a big piece of meat. Remember, we're gonna slice it and then sear it. I call this Alabama prime rib, right? So you're gonna slice it like a prime rib. You've only got the seasoning on the outside, so it's hard to hurt it. You might call this a Oklahoma round steak, Mississippi ribeye. We're gonna call it a Cedar Creek tenderloin today. Don't forget the tip. We're gonna season this pretty heavy, kind of pat it and let it adhere. And we're gonna get our smoker rolling at 275 degrees and get the smoking. Our gospel seasoning is adhered totally on this chub. Now we're gonna smoke it. I like to smoke at 275. I'm using hickory on a Traeger Ironwood. You can smoke anywhere from 225, 250, 275. We're just trying to get two, three hours smoke on it. Not too much where the casing starts to get kind of hard. Um, so, you know, just imparting some smoke flavor. So there's a lot of latitude in uh, how long you smoke this. All 
Our baloney tub's been rocking at 275 for about two hours. Whoo, and it looks mighty fine. I can kind of feel it here. It's feeling a little more firm. I'm ready. I'm gonna pull it off and get ready to sear it. So this has come off the smoker. It's looking beautiful. The score marks have kind of opened up this bologna. We're gonna take our uh, chef knife here and we're gonna make some thick slices and we're gonna go sear them. All right, so right there on that cross section, you can see all the smoke that this bologna took on. And doesn't this remind you like your grandma used to make when she fried bologna? She cut the slits in it and threw it in the pan. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these slices and we're gonna throw them in some cast iron that we've got piping hot over on our grill. All right, now it's time to sear. The important thing is to get some piping hot cast iron if you wanna sear. And I'm probably gonna go about 45 seconds to a minute per side, just depending on how much kind of char uh, or crust you want on it. And then we're gonna be good to build our sandwich. Here you see, we've got the good sear on the bologna. This is just like I grew up with. And the sandwiches my granny made me were simply mayonnaise and white bread. Some people put lettuce and tomato on there. I don't need that getting in the way of my bologna. I like Duke's mayonnaise. Use whatever you like. Now that is a childhood memory. Mmm. You can taste the gospel seasoning. A little crunch on the outside and from the sear. Man, that's tough to beat. Simple. This whole thing was like seven bucks. This will last you all week. If you guys enjoy this, subscribe to our channel. We love cooking outdoors. Hope to inspire you guys to get outside and cook for your friends and family. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.